Tomas Santiago grew up in the Bronx, New York City. At 14, his stepfather left his mother. My family knew how bad I was. They knew the stuff that I did since I was young. His mother and siblings could stay with the rest of the family, but Tomas, they said, could not. At the age of 14 years old, I became homeless. Um, I stole a car, lived in a car for about a year. Then I started living in pigeon coops. Abandoned buildings and city streets became home. I started doing all the tattoos, getting arrested. Um, I was a full-blown heroin addict here. I also was in one of the largest Latin gangs in New York City. Santiago says the notorious Latin Kings gang became his new family. These pictures are the only ones left of that life. I ran each of these four corners right next to the methadone program. And these guys here were family members, plus they also were my bodyguards. A teenager making thousands of dollars a day dealing drugs. And when he ran out of drugs or money, he would rob people. I've been shot four times, stabbed seven times. And it was all due to either bad transaction, me trying to rob somebody and didn't know they had a gun, or trying to rob somebody and didn't know they were going to fight me back by stabbing me. When he really ran out of drugs and money, he would check himself into rehab. He would meet people, network with other addicts. It was his system. He'd get back on the streets and start over using those contacts. For decades, his cycle continued. Today, he's 48. In his early 40s, he moved to Youngstown to get away from that life. But it followed him. He continued using. Then I met my wife in Youngstown. And that was the kickoff to my life that I have now. Um, she had faith in me. He's been to drug rehab dozens of times. Finally, one worked. The first thing that came out of Laura's mouth is, you can do it. I, she said, I can see it in your face, you can do it. In Salem, Mandy Noel for 27 Investigates.